Hello, I'm Pat Cunningham and uh, welcome back to this uh, series of videos uh, explaining equity release. Um, we've done quite a few videos now and um, today I want to give some reasons why uh, people would consider taking out equity release. Um, I've got uh, 10 reasons why people have used it and uh, these reasons are not just my opinion but uh, it's actually a result of a survey that was carried out last year 2019 uh, of the reasons why people used equity release so I just want to give them to you so that uh, you can realize uh, there's many different reasons why uh, equity release may be for you so um, number one reason and it came out at thirty-six percent of uh, of all the people who took equity release. The main reason that they took it was for refurbishment and repairs in the home. Basically, re refurbishment, maybe for putting in a a new shower room or a wet room uh, or a, a downstairs toilet something like that, something they needed uh, to do in their home to make it more uh, livable for them, to make things easier. So that was number one, refurbishments and repairs uh, to their home. Uh, and of course it is still their home, you know, uh, we've had this argument, oh you can't do anything, yeah people are still repairing their home with their lifetime mortgages and making things more comfortable for them. So 36% said uh, refurbishment, number one reason. Number two reason was to generally cover their costs, uh, enhance their pension. Where there was a, a monthly shortfall and um, they just need that little top up, they would take a drawdown. So uh, they would take a monthly or a quarterly sum as a drawdown uh, from equity release just to make things easier for them to, uh, to live. So not big lump sums, but just taking uh, taking regular payments to cover their costs and to help them get along. So that was the second uh, most popular. That was 19% by the way. Um, the third one, um, I don't know if that would be the case this year with the situation we got, but the third reason was holidays. Cruises and uh, going off to see the, the children in Australia, wherever it might be, but uh, going on that dream holiday uh, so uh, holidays accounted for uh, 17%, but uh, I don't guess that will be the same this year with the, with the COVID restrictions. A lot of people will be deferring their holidays, I'm sure, until next year, unfortunately. So holidays was uh, uh, a big thing. Um, number four, now number four you have to consider. Number four was 15%, was paying off debt. Now... It might be easier to think, well, well, we'll take equity release, we'll get all our debts paid off. Think about it very carefully. Make sure you speak with your equity release advisor. Uh, debts, credit cards, etc. are, um, I know they're very annoying, give a lot of pressure, but they are a short-term debt, remember. Uh, you'll be exchanging that short-term debt for a long-term debt, and the roll-up interest, when you look at it long-term, uh, that debt would cost you much more uh, by taking equity release. So you must look at that very carefully. Ensure there's no other way of uh, of doing it. Or at least when you take it out that you paid the interest payments, for example, to keep that roll up uh, negligible or at a minimum. So uh, a lot of people, 15% have borrowed to pay off the debts. I'm not saying it's wrong, but... It, sometimes take as, a, as an easy way out. So make sure you speak with your equity release advisors. But 15% of people decided to do that and clear all the debts and no payments. Number five on the list was medical costs and providing long-term care. Now we know that that can be very expensive. Um, 30, 40, 50,000 pound a year for long-term care. Uh, and other medical costs and special medical needs that we may have. So um, 
expensive. Uh, so a lot of people have used the equity in their home to do that. No problem doing that. Uh, if it gives us comfort, it's what we need. It's a needed thing. So uh, we found that 14% of people actually used it for medical costs and for costs of long-term care. Number six, motor car. Buying a new car, 13% of people, oh, well, let's have a new car, maybe a his and a hers, let's have a couple of Ford Fiestas or whatever it might be. Uh, so buying a new car or new cars or new cars for the whole family, we'll go and get some cars. So uh, uh, we found that 13% uh, of people uh, decided to, uh, to buy a car. Um, there we are. Number seven, uh, fairly low this one really, mortgage, paying off a mortgage. You've got an existing mortgage and you're fed up with it and you just want to be free of it so you take a lifetime mortgage or, or home reversion plan, whatever it was you had, but you take equity release in order to get rid of the mortgage. Lovely. Then you're living uh, uh, easily without any, any payments. So. Uh, how many people was it? 13% of people decided to pay off their mortgage. And that was reason number seven. Reason number eight. I like this one. Uh, it's helping family with a deposit to get on the housing ladder. Uh, youngsters today find it very difficult to uh, uh, raise the deposit. Uh, they work hard. The pair, the, the, the couple working hard and, and can't seem to get forward to just get enough to get that deposit together. And there's mum and dad sitting with this, uh, all this equity sat in their house. So um, a lot of uh, people are taking equity release to provide funds for their children uh, for a deposit for a new home. It could well be then that the, the children, in return, as they always do, would uh, agree to pay those interest rates every month so that your um, equity didn't reduce. You didn't have this, ro this compounded roll-up interest so that they would take the money from you and say, thank you very much, Mum, we'll pay it back to you. As I always do, of course, they always promise to pay it back. Um, and then they could pay the, the, the interest rate so that your debt remained the same. And I'm sure they will, as they always say, they will keep their word. And they'll, and they'll pay this back. And it'll just have to pay back that money without that rolled up interest. So uh, it was how many people? 15%, um, no, 13, 13%, okay. 13%. So I think that's a great, uh, a great idea for equity release to help your family get onto the property ladder. Number nine, hmm, borrowing from equity release to invest so again where these interest rates are so low now at three percent or even below three percent uh, people are looking to borrow from equity release in order to invest in uh, uh, some commodity or whatever it may be that will pay them uh, a, a better rate of interest so uh, 7% of people used equity release in order to invest. And number 10, last but not least, and it's little known this one, but um, we always talk about equity release, releasing equity from your property to provide things that we've listed in the other nine topics. But uh, it's little known that you can use equity release to actually purchase a property as well. So as an elderly couple, you may want to purchase a property. So you can also use a lifetime mortgage there. So you can get a mortgage um, for whatever it is, 45, 50, 52 percent of that property, as long as you've got the, the money to put down for the rest. And again, you won't have any payments. So you can actually use equity release to actually purchase a property. So you may want to move uh, move up country or down country to be near the children. Oh, we need to buy a house. This, that, that. It's a way of doing that as well. Again, speak to your equity release advisor. They understand all these things. 
and they'll be delighted to help you, uh, as I will. I've always said on my uh, videos, uh, you're very welcome to call me. My number's on the bottom here. Uh, please give me a call. Uh, it is an answer phone. Uh, I will get back to you, answer any questions you may have. Please hit the subscribe button if you would, uh, just below this video, so we can build up this channel. And uh, I hope you found uh, those 10 reasons uh, interesting, and that maybe you fall into one of those categories and say, yeah, this may be for me. Equity release is a very good concept, if it's appropriate for you. Um, you need to understand it. You don't need to fully understand it. You don't need to know how an engine works in a Jaguar to drive it. You just need to know where to put the key in and turn it. If something you want explaining, then the engineers will explain it to you. Equity release is the same. Be aware of the things you have to uh, take note of. Uh, speak with your equity release advisor. Get it all explained to you so you're happy and you're content um, to do this. Um, and I wish you the best. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.